is serendipity real or is the causality too complex for us to perceive? I attribute a lot of things in my life to serendipity. I've often thought about the abstractness of it. A recent comment brought it right to the front. I thought it was time to put some words to it. Serendipity is very meant to be in a romantic way. Non-serendipity is also very meant to be in a dogmatic way. The word serendipity was coined in 1754 by Horace Walpole after a Persian story, The Three Princes of Serendip, an old Persian name for Sri Lanka. The princess discerned the nature of a lost camel through accidents, and the term stuck, meaning happy accident. What if they're just intersections in a pattern too intricate for us to trace? In physics, chaos theory is an indication. Tiny variations in starting conditions creating wildly different outcomes. A butterfly flaps its wings in Brazil, and months later, your life quietly pivots. Also, why don't interact with anything is a favorite time travel movie trope. In programming, there's a concept called pseudo-randomness. Computers can't truly generate randomness. They just produce patterns so complex that we can't tell the difference for practical purposes. But given infinite power, you could probably trace every coincidence right back to its seed value. So what if the universe works in the same way? What if what we call true randomness is really cosmic pseudo-randomness, a design whose complexity exceeds our resolution? Every coincidence, a visible ripple of invisible map. It's like a two-dimensional creature trying to understand a sphere. In 2D, a sphere is projected as a circle, but even to see that circle in entirety, you need to look from the third dimension, like looking at a sheet of paper on a desk. Maybe serendipity is similar to dimensional blindness, a higher order pattern brushing past our timeline while we stand here staring at its shadow. Many things were actually invented this way. Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin because mold drifted into his dish. Percy Spencer invented the microwave oven because a candy bar melted in his pocket. French mathematician Henri Poincaré even said, chance is but the measure of our ignorance. Psychologists even study this as John Crumble's planned happenstance theory, how unplanned events lead to career breakthroughs. Because I guess serendipity doesn't visit people who stay still and seems to find those who wander, needing motion to make the math align. Think about it this way. Let's say a hiker discovers a chest full of gold on a trail. Serendipity, she exclaims. But if she hadn't decided to hike that day, it wouldn't have happened. If she hadn't picked that trail, it wouldn't have happened. If she hadn't found out before others did, it wouldn't have happened. It may seem like that's beautifully lucky, but if you start tracing back further and further, there are probably reasons why she decided to hike that day and pick that hike, and more reasons further backwards. So is serendipity the universe doing exactly what it's meant to and we just catching it at an angle where it looks like coincidence? I might still continue calling things serendipity because I like the romance in it, but figuring out as much of the reasoning chain as possible is an enjoyably mind-bending adventure. Be gentle with yourself.